What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Prince Tofu, and today I am back at it again with some more Luna. This time I'm gonna be checking out the Colors Dance Practice. So last weekend I checked out the stage performance of Colors on Simply K-Pop and I loved it. It was so freaking good. Great use of upper body stuff, amazing handwork, and those cannons, oh my god. Like, I ended up downloading that song and, uh, you know, listening to it on a number of my playlists. And the big one is like, I'm driving to work, every single time, Colors comes on, I immediately think of Chori's hand cannon that she started off. And she was that point to that pyramid. And I'm just always like, man, I cannot wait. Cannot wait for when they finally release that dance practice. Honestly, wasn't sure if they would. Um, I don't know how Luna goes about, you know, with releasing their, their dance practices. But obviously, they're all about showing us these things. Because uh, last night as I was driving home from work, checked my recommended feed. Boom, there it was. So, uh, yeah. Really looking forward to this. Uh, really looking forward to really just seeing the choreography as a whole, you know, without the zoom ins and just seeing all the crazy cool formations that they no doubt had. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this thing. Oh, I just noticed that's like all their colors right there. That's so cool. Oh man, they are so smooth. That clap right there. I love it when they leave the original audio in. The claps, the stomping, the screaming. The screech marks for the shoes. Woo! Hustle! Look at that girl rocking that crop top. Man, so smooth. But yeah, I love when they, re they leave the original audio in there. It just takes me back, man. It takes me back to my days in the studio. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I never noticed she went out like that. <sighs> that was nice. Yeah, I missed that in the stage performance. Like someone had to point it out for me. I love this. I love that little move. It's so simple, but it just, it works. It works so well with that particular verse and the music. It's perfect. Oh my god, Hostel, what are you doing to me, girl? What are you doing to me? That crop top, jeez. Oh my god, Eve, too. Wow. God. Okay, yeah. Lower down levels, let the little blonde shine. I'm sorry, I keep calling her the little blonde. Like, I'll learn her name eventually. I haven't gotten to her yet, I don't think. Yeah, there. Nice, Eve. And I don't know her yet either. I, don't, I haven't come across her yet. Yes, yes. Love how freaking smooth that is. Man, this entire piece of choreo is so freaking smooth. They kind of just like glide and just flow into each formation. My girl Kim Lip leading, taking point on that reverse V. Oh yeah, that's that's what I needed in life. Oh my god. Yes, here we go. I missed a lot of this last time because they like zoomed in. Love that transition right there. Oh man, oh, them hair whips. Oh yes, hustle, get it, girl. Oh man, God, both of them, man. God, they are both so gorgeous. I mean, all of them are gorgeous, man. Jeez. Jinsu was, she's a vocal man. Like I thought she was a rapper. I love that right there. That's so cool. That's like a super delayed subunit cannon right there. I love how they have their grid as well. Really nice. Really freaking nice. I just want to go into that one first cannon that Chori took point on because it was so freaking nice. And I know I, I covered it last week, but... <sighs> Alright. The way that that just flowed and the way I got to see it from the front was just so freaking beautiful. And how Chori ended it with her, like, that grace she had. I mean, it was like the cherry on top. Or you could say the Chori on top. I'll be here all week. But no, that was that was beautiful. Um it's so satisfying to see. 
And also, like, I love how they have the grids right there. You know, so, like, whenever we learn group choreography, you know, you always have to have a marker on the ground. And in this case, they're using a full grid. Um, it basically tells us where we're at in the choreo, where, where you're at in your formation. Um, you don't need it for, like, individual choreography. So, like, if I'm learning a set of movements by myself or we're all learning the same thing, like, which you'll see in a lot of, like, dance classes and stuff that you'll get at the gym or whatnot, yeah, you don't need a grid for that. But when you're learning group choreography and everyone has their specific place that they're supposed to be at, you do need these grids. So you'll see whenever these girls find their stopping points, they are, you know, center grid, half grid, third grid, quarter grid. You know, you'll, you'll see them do that. And they do it very well. They find their markers very well, very accurately. But they're professionals, though, you know, it's you kind of expect it. What I also would like to comment on is how small their practice room is. Like... Like, I know they're, they're a small company. Like, someone told me they only got, like, 15, 16 employees. And, you know, it just makes me feel for them even more because they are, they are dishing out some serious... See, it is really windy outside. My God. Sorry. Um, they are really, really dishing out some awesome choreography, like, some great stuff. And to see, like, where they're working out of and, like... I don't know. I just feel like that's, that's like, the underdog story right there, right? Because you go back and you look at, like... BTS and XO and stuff like that, you look at their early dance practice facilities that they had, same deal, like these tiny confined little spaces. Like I'm pretty sure like, and shiny too, like shiny, they were like working out of a closet it looked like when they got started. Um, so, I mean, this is a nice practice room. This is a very nice practice room. It looks about the same as, you know, the one that I had going up, but like this is, a, this is an idol group. You, you would think that they'd have more, but you know, small company and they're just kind of, this shows me they're, they're grinding right now. They are grinding. And, uh, I can't wait for them to, I can't wait for us to be a year or two down the road when they've blown up a bit and we'll be looking at their new dance practice room and it's going to be like, it's going to be something special, you know, but yeah, it, it's, it's cool. It's cool to see this, this whole like situation, them kind of just, I don't want to say struggling because they're not really struggling, but it's like, there's like a little league room right here, but they're producing big league stuff. You know, humble beginnings, right? Anyways, guys, that was the uh, dance practice for uh, Colors. And yeah, loved it. So glad I got to see the entire thing. Um, Notice some things that I didn't last time. Um, or, well, I got to see them more clearly. Like that uh, that transition with um, with Jinsel and the other, the little girl. Like that was, that was so cool. I totally missed that when I was checking out the stage performance. So being able to see that now, really well done. That was so freaking smooth. And uh, yeah, absolutely loved it. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for checking out. If you like what you see, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like some more, subscribe. If you have any uh, opinions, comments, concerns, questions, go ahead, uh, leave them down in the comments below, and I will check them out. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking me out, and I will see you next week. Take it easy.